Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for yet another day of life. We thank you for health and strength. We thank you for the, the ability to spend another day with you, being led by your Holy Spirit and instructed by your Holy Word. We thank you for another day that we can take part in your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. And again, Lord Jesus, we know and we want to be reminded and we really want to stand on the belief that all things are working together for the good for those who love you. And as always, we pray without failing that we abide in your love. So you may be in us and we in you. And we may glorify you, even our eternal Father, with all that we are. Loving you with our whole heart, soul, mind, strength, all that we are. We thank you for even the times when it is acknowledged your presence with us and in us. That the darkness have seen the true light in us. And we pray that we continue to bear that light for all those who are yet without light to show that it's freely given and free to receive all we have to do is, is give ourselves over unto you and to be honest we are yours whether we are for you or against you you still are our creator and you still own us per se because you you created us but we want to acknowledge that you are ours and we are yours and again for those who are against that truth we just pray that our lives may be a testimony in why we ought to commit ourselves back onto our creator our faithful good creator so that we can be mended and repaired from all those things that ail us, all those things that we are broken from, all those things that destroy us, we may come unto you to be whole again in you, Lord Jesus. So just praying for each and every soul this morning that is in a place of brokenness, of despair, of perplexity. Or any such thing. Uh, anyone that is in the depths of hopelessness. In the depths of sin. That dear Lord you just continue to work on us in, that w in a way. Or in the way that would redeem us from all unrighteousness. Cleansing us and redeeming us. So that again we may be presented unto you when you do return for us. The church, the bride of the Lamb, without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. So we are thanking you. And we are just praying that you continue to help us throughout the tests and trials of life. As we ask each and every morning, without fail. Because they must come. And because they must come, we must pray and ask that you help us. That we do not lose footing, that we do not lose faith. That we abide in your love to overcome all things by our faith and love in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to help us to be a light and an example of you, Lord Jesus, in the lives of the youth. To raise them up in the way that they should go so that when they are of age they shall never neglect nor reject you. Continue to help us to help one another in love. In the seasons and the time appointed. And continue to 
sustain, to promote, to nurture, and to put your hedge of protection around marriages in the pursuit of godly marriages so that we as mankind, as we ask each and every day, or try to ask each and every day, that we may glorify you, O Heavenly Father, with this life that you have given us. So we're thanking you through and by and in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. All right. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Mm. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he hath set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of his labor, it is the gift of God. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, uh, that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And God requireth that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in mine heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Even one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they have all one breath, so that a man hath no preeminence over or above, sorry, a beast for all is vanity. All go unto one place. All are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? Wherefore I perceive that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is his portion. For who shall bring him to see what shall be after him? Amen. A 
as always, we'll do a recap and the weekend. Anything that you want to share, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at geekreach1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to His word, according to His principles, according to His will, being led by His Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.